hello, yes, hello, I'm, I'm like reading it? your book, Enjoy Life Forever. I've got a few things I don't understand in the book, Enjoy Life Forever. I managed to get a paper copy. Are you um, studying with someone? No, no, I'm not. Are you? Are you um, studying with someone in the uh, area? No, I'm not. I, I, I downloaded the book, and then I wrote away for a paper paper copy of the book. It's nice to have you here. If you have any questions, we're we're I'll be glad to help you. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Um, I'm puzzled about lesson thirteen on warfare. That's paragraph two on page fifty-five. How does false religion misrepresent God by its actions? Um, it says, false religion does not treat people as Jehovah does. The Bible says that false religion's sins have massed together clear up to heaven. For centuries, religions have meddled in politics, supported wars, and caused or approved the death of countless numbers of people. It says for centuries. For, you know, I think it's hinting at the Crusades and the Spanish Inquisition. Some religious leaders enjoy a lavish lifestyle and demand money from their followers to pay for it. These actions prove they do not even know God, yet alone have the right to represent him. Is the book saying that if a religion is involved in politics or warfare, then it cannot represent Jehovah God? Uh, thank you. What, what was your question again? You had a concern about what's stated in the paragraph? Is Enjoy Life Forever, Lesson 13, Paragraph 2, saying that any religion that meddles in uh -huh. politics or which supports wars cannot represent Jehovah God? I just found that paragraph now. Let me read through it. Yeah. Yes, of course, sir. Have you read through other sections of the book, or are you just focusing on this uh, section? Well, I can only talk about one part of the book at a time. I can't talk about ten chapters at the same time. It's oh, best okay. to do one one chapter at a time. Yeah. Yeah, so the way the book is designed um, uh, for a study you would start with the first section and as you as you uh progress through the book when you get to say lesson 13 that you're on now um you'll have a better uh grasp um, of is uh, the book the material being presented yeah is the book saying that religions that meddle in politics or which support wars cannot represent jehovah god Um, let me ask you this question. Um, do you have a, a are, are you a Bible reader or do you have uh, uh, any uh, background um, in, in religion? Well, I've asked you a then question. Then it'll be easier to answer your question. I've asked you a question. You're asking me a question back. You said you'd be willing to help me with your book. I used to be an evangelical Christian. I gave up attending many, many years ago. I have nothing to do with any religious group at all. Oh, okay. Um, now, your book says, for centuries, oh. religions have meddled in politics, supported wars, and caused or approved the deaths of countless numbers of people, skipping two lines. These actions prove they do uh. not even know God, yet alone have the right to represent him. Is a religion that's involved in politics or warfare is it impossible for such a religion to represent Jehovah God? Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah, so the reason I asked the question back uh, and then made a statement regarding 
uh, uh, starting the book from the beginning is uh, in previous lessons. I'm, I'm not interested. I'm, you've asked me, you said you'd be willing to help me you would answer have my learned. questions about the book. Well, I've got a question you in lesson 13. already that when Jesus... Oh, okay. I've got bandwidth. I've got very low okay. bandwidth. Say is uh, when Jesus was here on the earth, and oh, okay, where are you calling from? Oh, yeah, we lost you. Sorry. W where are you uh, connected from? Do I have to tell you that? I'm obliged to tell you that. Yeah, the reason I ask is um, this Zoom connection is private, so. We are very careful with those we let into our Zoom meetings. I'm, I'm reading your book, Enjoy Life Forever. I'm kind of stuck on a few things. One of them is Lesson 13. Yes. Could you help, please? Okay. It is a religion that meddles sure. in politics or warfare? Yeah, so what I'm saying is to understand, yeah, yeah, yeah. To understand Lesson 13, you would have a better understanding of the answer if you start the book from the beginning. And yeah. I've read the book from the beginning. That, that's what I'm saying. I've read it from the beginning. Is the book saying that religions okay. that meddle in politics and support wars cannot represent Jehovah God? Is that what Lesson 13, Paragraph 2 is, is saying? Okay. Or have I misunderstood that, Robert? Yeah, so... This book is based on the I, Bible. Yeah, don't don't stop 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 selling. I'm not interested. And released to help you. Yeah. I'm not interested. Yeah. You said you're oh, willing yeah. to help so, me with okay. my Bible yeah. problems. I'm reading yeah. your book. Could you help me with the book? Okay. Please please don't be like a salesman trying yeah, to sell I, me. What something. I'm saying is uh, yes. Yeah, we can yeah, we can help you, but it's best to start from the beginning. And I've read the book from yeah, the beginning. We don't want to argue with you. Yeah. But it, it's 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 frustrating yeah. because you're not giving me a straight, honest answer. Every time I ask a straight question, you don't give me a straight answer. I just want to know, okay. is a religion that yeah. meddles in politics okay. and support wars, sure. can such a religion sure. not represent Jehovah God? Yeah. I need to know how you got the, uh, the login for this meeting, because it is private. But you're a, you're a registered charity. You're a registered charity because you run meetings that are open to the public. If this is yeah. a private meeting, then you're breaking the charity, yeah, the, ch the charity rules. Yeah. You, you, you have yeah. tax breaks yeah, and charity able, status yes. because you're open to the yeah, public. Sorry, if you're not able to tell me how you got... If you're not able to tell me how somebody you got gave the login me this. information, somebody gave me. I won't be able to answer your question. I was yeah. given the logon details. Yeah. I was given the logon details by somebody who said, okay. if I come to this room, sure. you will be able to sure. help me. And you don't seem able yeah. to help me. You just seem this to be like a salesman. Yeah, this specific meeting here is, um, yeah, it's, it's private. So I don't want to be arguing with you in this forum. So if you're not able to share with me how you got the login information, I'm going to have to I told you. Somebody gave me the you. login details. Okay. I was given the login details, and they said if I went to this room, you would be able to help me. But you're not helping me at all. You just want me to jump through hoops. Yeah, Can yeah. I speak to somebody else who's more helpful yeah, this, and more yeah, and, sorry. And, and, and more Christian-like? Yeah, this, this, um, yeah, this forum is not to be argumentative with you. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to disconnect you from the meeting. Sorry about You're that. You're going to throw me out of the meeting for asking you to help me about your book that I'm reading. And I have been removed. The, the Zoom detail says the host has removed you from the meeting. Gosh, and that was Mililani, M-I-L-I-L-A-N-I, -I -I congregation on at watch. I can't really pronounce this. Anyway, um, it's basically in Hawaii.